What I got involved with it for was to help um, a harmed and a harmer find a way to communicate and gather compassion for each other so that some of the harm gets repaired. And as part of that, um, there's a lot of preparation work done with each party. So we spend time um, talking to each side. We do risk assessments to make sure that what we're involved in with them isn't going to cause any damage to them or to anybody else. And then we eventually are working towards them having some sort of direct communication if possible. It doesn't always happen. Um, very often a victim, somebody who's been harmed, might not want to have direct face-to-face -face contact with the person who committed the harm. So we could do something called shuffling. We, we, we go between the two and help them to um, answer questions, find answers, or write a letter and then get the letter answered. All of it takes a lot of time and trying to be as sensitive and um, kind as we can. And at the end of it, we're, we hope that everybody walks away having gained something. I got, how did I get involved? I got involved because I'd been doing something called non-violent communication for quite a long time. And I did that as part of a master's, oh, back in the late 90s but then found that it was really important both in a work situation but also in a family situation where I learned about um, uh, something that happened, identifying what happened, identifying uh, the feelings, being able to share those and communicate them, say what your need is and request answers. And so that in itself led me into restorative justice because it was, I use that. We use, sometimes use NVC, nonviolent communication, in the restorative justice process. And it's so rewarding because every time um, I talk, we talk, to one of the parties every time I find myself in awe of the individuals who are doing their best to move on from where they were before. So when they start the process, they're at a sort of zero compassion level very often for each other. And each step of the way, their compassion usually grows a bit um, so that by the end, we've got a, a good mutual compassion thing going on. Mm -hmm.